So let's talk about a couple of quick handy tools that can be a huge time and budget saver for you. First thing I'll talk about is LED tape. I get a lot of questions about LED tape on my Instagram all the time. Um, so LED tape is cheap, it's efficient, 12 volts, you can get it readily accessible on Amazon, on eBay, on environmental lighting, there's all kinds of websites that have it. The biggest takeaway for it is you 100% get what you pay for. So if you're buying this you know, $15, $13 a roll stuff from Amazon, it's gonna be a way different quality than the stuff you're gonna get from City Theatrical. So if you're buying the cheaper stuff, which there's nothing wrong with buying the cheaper stuff, you know, everybody's got budget points that they have to stick at, but I would really encourage you to make sure you're buying spares, both of the actual LED tape as well as the accessories you need to make it work because there's not a whole lot of quality control happening with it. I use LED tape like this all throughout my house as well. I've got a bunch of home automation stuff. Maybe we'll talk about that next week at Zoom Beer. Um, we'll talk about home automation, but I've got, I use a lot of just this generic, you know, Amazon LED tape and a lot of, and a lot of the stuff I do. And I also use it on my shows. You know, I've had some shows where I've got the budget to get the really nice stuff and other shows where I just need something. So the cool part about LED tape is that you can use it uh, as a, as lighting for people. It's a little bit harder to do that, but it's definitely possible. But you can also use it as a scenic accent. You know, you can use it to scrape a portal. You could use it to, to light up the inside of a window, a shadow box, or you could use it as a scenic element itself. Uh, if you've followed me for a while, you saw a couple years ago, I did a production of a spam a lot and we lined all of the set with this LED tape and it was black. And so you couldn't see it. And then all of a sudden during like, I think it was the Camelot number, the whole set exploded in color and it looked like almost like neon strips, right? So, uh, so you can you, a lot of flexibility in, in what you can do with it. it comes in two main varieties. You can get RGB, which is red, green, blue, and then red, green, blue, white, there's warm, white, cool, white. And then you can also get uh, particular colors. So you can like the one you're looking at right here, this is just a blue LED tape. You can get all of those things as well. The, the key components you're gonna need to make that kind of system happen is of course the LED tape you need, the LED tape itself. You're also gonna need some kind of a decoder. So this decoder is basically taking a DMX signal and it's acting as, think of it like if it's an RGB decoder, think of it like a three circuit dimmer pack for 12 volts. It's gonna dim that 12 volt signal to the red, to the green, to the blue. Uh, there's this one right here that does a single tape or you can get a bigger one like this. Of course, it costs a little bit more money, but you can hook, this one has eight different RGB tapes you can hook into it. But yeah, definitely check this out if you haven't. It's a really, it's a, it's, it's cheap to get into, you know, if you, especially if you're, those of you who are working in schools, working, you know, working in educational institutions, you could get a working LED tape system, you know, you're talking maybe 30, 40 bucks for 16 feet worth once you get a decoder and everything put in there. And again, if you get one of these guys over here that does multiple channels out, you can do a whole lot of stuff with it. Uh, next quick thing we're gonna talk about, again, this is very specific to those of you who are working in theater because most of the audience of this is theatrical and most of you are students or educators in some way, so most of these are geared towards that audience. Oh, but that's ETC Nomad. So if you don't have an ion, you don't have an element, you don't have an EOS or a GEO in your theater or at your school, it's very, very easy to get that exact same software right now in your theaters. So the coolest part about Nomad is it's only $250 for students and teachers. You get a two universe output dongle for that, as well as a piece of hardware here called the gadget. This gadget is a USB device that has two physical DMX outs that can be mapped to any universe you want. But again, your dongle only allows you two universes worth of output and you can control a lighting rig right from your computer. So to do that, you're gonna to go to etcconnect.com slash student hyphen package. There's gonna be a form you fill out there and you're gonna give that again, this is back to that idea of having a relationship with your local vendor. Take that form, give it to your local distributor, your local venue, and you're gonna get this for $250, which is a steal. So again, if you're going to, if you're working in education in any way, or even if you're a student who's about to graduate, do this while you can because you get to keep this when you graduate. Like it's a fully unlocked thing. You don't have to give it back when you graduate. You don't have to pay more to unlock it. You basically can have a fully functioning Broadway level control package for $250 uh, on your laptop. It runs on PC, runs on Mac, amazing, amazing piece of software. And then of course we also, you know, those of you who follow me on Instagram, you see we do all kinds of stuff with Nomad. So 10 years ago, we had a lot of remote video devices where you'd have this whole big old honking like, uh, you know, 
computer that was like this big and it would just give us a, a screen of the light board. I haven't used an RVI in like five years now. Now, even the theaters that have them, I'd say, I don't want it. Just give me a network drop at my tech table. I'm going to bring in my little foldable monitors and my laptop, and that's going to be my RVI. So you can use it as a client. You can use it as a backup kind of depending on what your what your system setup is like. Again, if, if, if you're you can't, you know, you, I wouldn't want to use it as a backup to, let's say, a, a, an EOS, because again, you're going to be limited to two universes worth of output then, but you get the idea. Uh, there's also, of course, other packages like this that, well, I don't know if there's any other student packages like this that quite exist at this level. I know, I think uh, Camsys has a has a, has a a free version. I, I know I have, I, Brett gave me a, a dongle at LDI this year that I think it's a one universe, or it might be unlimited, but it only works for a couple of hours kind of situation. So no, no matter what your, your console of choice is, there's something that exists uh, there's something that exists for this. Oh, and yeah, and that's actually, Ian has a, a great point. Nomad keys also unlock hog software now. So you can get two universes worth of, of hog four output just by having this, this, this little device. Uh, only other thing to point out about Nomad 2 is you can also output over a network. So you can do streaming ACN, you can do ArtNet, you can do all of that over a network without needing that gadget device. And you're able to, you know, you're able to, to do it that way. 